Hello, welcome. I'm Andreas Chat, your tech curious web designer. If you want to sell something on your website, then you might have heard already of Stripe. Stripe is a payment service for web applications and can be used for one time payments as well as for managing subscriptions. Stripe is very popular because it is very easy to integrate, is very customizable, and has a great user friendly platform. In this tutorial, I will give you a step-by-step -step guide starting with a fresh new Django project, how to integrate Stripe. But before we get started, a quick shout out to my new supporter on Patreon. A high five to Popo. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Okay, and now without further ado, let's dive in. First, a quick demo what we're going to build in this tutorial series. This is my barebone Django application. Here I click on shop. And this is a product page where I want to sell, for example, a t-shirt. Then I click here buy. And will be redirected to the Stripe checkout page. As we can see, Stripe offers a test mode where we can test the integration beforehand. Here we give now our information, email address and credit card details. For testing, we can use a fake credit card number Stripe provides, which is 4 times 4242. We can use any future expiry date and any verification code. Insert the name. This name will then show up on the success page and then click pay. Once the checkout was successful, I will be redirected to a success page where the customer name is displayed. If we look into the database, we can see we have created a new record for this payment with a couple of useful properties and Stripe information. Ok, let's have a look now at a typical Stripe workflow. First we have the client, which in our case is the browser. The user clicks a buy button on the website, which then triggers a request to the backend, our Django application. The backend creates then a checkout session by calling the Stripe API. The Stripe API checks if everything in the session is valid and sends back a checkout session object to the backend. After the session object was approved, the user is redirected to the Stripe checkout page. This is where the user fills in their payment details and clicks the pay button. Stripe processes the payment and checks for authorization and validations. If the payment was successful, the user is redirected to a success page or a cancel page if the user cancels the payment before that. At the same time, Stripe also triggers a server-side webhook event to notify the backend about the payment. A webhook is simply a trigger which sends information from one server to another when a specific event occurred, in this case when a checkout was completed successfully. The backend handles then the fulfillment of this webhook event. This could be creating a new record in a database or updating an existing one. Ok, this is the workflow in a nutshell. Now let's get to the code. I opened here a new folder with the name Stripe in Visual Studio Code and I'm going to install now my Django starter code, which is a barebone Django application. And you can grab this code from my GitHub repository at github.com slash slash Django starter. This is the repository of my Django starter project. If you're interested to know how I built this, you can click on the tutorial link here in the readme file. Or otherwise, we can just download this project by copying the git command here and pasting it in the Visual Studio Code terminal. Now we have all the files and folders in our project. Next, we activate a virtual environment to keep the requirements for this project isolated on our machine. Then we upgrade pip, which is the package manager for Python, and install the required packages from the requirements.txt file. Alright, next we migrate the tables to the database. 
is added now the SQLite tree database, which comes built in with Django. And then we can create the admin user with Python manage.py create super user. And then I start the server. All right, we have a running application now. I quickly change the title of this project. So I'm going to my templates folder to includes header.html and change this to Stripe payment. Okay, save this file. Then I go to localhost colon 1000. And here I have a new Django project. Okay, let's add Stripe now to this website. I'm closing this header file. Ctrl C to stop the server. And then I start a new Django app, which basically behaves like a plugin. And I give this app the name A underscore Stripe. Then I add this app to my installed apps. So in the core folder, settings to py. And add it to the list. Next, I'm creating a table in the database where I can store the records of the Stripe payments. So I'm going to my Stripe folder, here the models.py, and add here the user payment class. As first property, I add here the Django user with a foreign key relationship to the user class. Let's import it. Then next I add here the Stripe customer ID. This is the customer record on Stripe for this payment. Then I also save the Stripe checkout ID. This could be useful to track past transactions. Then also the Stripe product ID. Then the product name. Then the quantity, how many units of this product were purchased in the session. And I add here default equals one. Then we have the price of this item, as well as the currency. And as last, I add the has paid property. This displays the status of this payment and should be updated through a webhook because the webhook offers secure and reliable communication between servers triggered when the checkout was successful. And then I also add the string representation for the admin interface, displaying the username, product name and paid status. Alright, next we add this table to the admin interface. So we're going to the admin.py file. Here I import the model class and register it on the admin side. Okay, save this file. Then I do the migrations and migrate. With this, we created a table in our database to store the payment records. Next, I set up the front end, add a button to the home page, and link it to a product page. So I'm going to my templates folder and here do home.html, change the title to payment, and add here a shop button, which links to a product page. Okay, save this file. And let's create this URL now. So in my Stripe folder, I create a new file, urls.py. And here I create this path, which links to the product view function. We will create this function in a second. Let's save this file and include it in the global urls.py file. So I'm going to the core folder, here to urls.py. and include the payment path. Okay, save this file. And now we have to create this view. So in the views.py file, I create this product view. And for now, we just return a static HTML page, product.html. Let's create this file. So I copy the name. Again, in my Stripe folder, I create a templates folder. 
And inside this templates folder, we have another folder with the name of the app, so A underscore Stripe. And in this folder, we create product.html. Okay. In this file, we add now the code for the product page. And you can grab this code from my GitHub repository at github.com slash ndjat slash stripe. So here I click on product.html and copy the code. And paste the code. Save this file. And now let's start the server again and check it out. I refresh the page. We have now our shop button. And here we have the product page with an item. All right, we have now the front end set up. We have a table in the database. And we are ready now to look at the backend logic. But this is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Until then, happy coding, my friends. And bye bye for now.